It's really quite easy to read in spreadsheet data using one of the pandas read functions. However, we have to be quite careful before we analyze the data to make sure that pandas has read the data in correctly with respect to the type of data it is and also with respect to handling missing data. Pandas usually does a pretty good job of guessing the type of data in a column by looking at the sorts of values that are present in that column. Typically, if the column contains only strings, it will read them in as the object data type, which is what it does for strings. If there are decimal points, it'll read them in as floating point numbers. If all the numbers are integers, it will read them in as integers. Let's check this out by printing out the series for the male, latitude, and school level columns. The male column, because it contains only integers, was read in as data type integer. The latitude column, because it contains numbers with decimal points, were read in as floating point numbers. And the school level column, which contained only strings, was read in as an object. So in this case, it looks like it did a pretty good job. In some cases, however, we would like for it to just read in every column as a string. And in that case, we can put in a dtype equals string argument, which will force all of the cells to be read in as strings. Here I've used that argument, and now if we run this cell, we can see that even though the values are displayed similarly to as they were before, the data type of each of them has been read in as object, which is the data type that it uses for strings. We need to pay careful attention to how pandas handle cells that are empty. In this spreadsheet we are working with, the native Hawaiian or other Pacific Islander cells for the first three rows are actually empty. So let's see how pandas handles that when it reads those in. Let's reread the spreadsheet in again and print out the first three lines. The native Hawaiian and other Pacific Islander cells, which were blank in the original spreadsheet, have been read in using the NumPy missing data indicator, which is shown here as NAN. That may have been the correct solution, but we need to think carefully about whether blank cells actually should be considered as missing data, or perhaps they should just be considered to contain empty strings. If I don't want it to put empty cells in as missing data, I can use the na filter equals false argument, in which case it'll read the empty cells in as empty strings instead of as missing data. Here I'm using the na filter equals false argument and if I look at the same columns, Native Hawaiian or other Pacific Islanders, now they're showing as empty cells or empty strings instead of missing data indicators. This may be what we want. However, NAN is considered a number. So if we have a column that's full of numbers and we turn off the NA filter, then we'll end up with some numbers, the values that are present in the cells, but also some things that are not numbers which would be the cells that contain empty strings. And that might be a problem if we want to do calculations and we're doing it on a mixed data type. We can see this by printing out the series of pre-K three years in the situation where I have turned the NA filter off. So I see instead of missing values in this series, I have empty string cells. And as a result, the type is being shown as object because I have a mixture of strings and numbers. The bottom line is you have to think carefully about what the meaning is of the data in the spreadsheet that you're reading in and decide whether the values should be empty strings, zeros, or missing data.